The famous Cricket Oval became the 39th venue to be used for a Premiership season match. Melbourne hadn't run across the South Australian border in 15 matches over a decade. The Demons started without Tom Scully, who withdrew with a hip injury, replaced by Rowan Bale, while number 48, Jack Fitzpatrick, made his debut. Dean Brogan played his last game for Port Adelaide, who could offload the wooden spoon to Gold Coast with its third win of the season. The power defence was caught on the hop, and Cale Morton kicked the first goal on this venue, while Brett Ebert became Port's first in his 150th game. Gee, struck that well. Geordie McKenzie and Nathan Jones added two more goals for the Demons before Travis Boak backed himself to score after the siren. And he's got it too, sweet as you like, that'll be a goal. As sweet as you like. The power hit the front early in the second term when Ebert caught a glimpse of goal. The goal scorer knocked in his third five minutes later before the Demons tied the scores at 32. He's got some pace, Martin. That'll be some goal if he kicks it, and he has. Port Adelaide made it six goals in seven when David Roden fired one out of heavy traffic and leading goal kicker Robert Gray steered through his 32nd of the season. And then Gray goes bang and listen to the roar. Melbourne's leading goal kicker Brad Green made it 36 for the year with his second touch of the game. Matthew Bate got the Demons back within a kick. So Bate puts it through and Melbourne shows some resolve right there. They were tested by Port but they've got the last two goals. Inside the final minute, Mark Jamar put the Demons in front. Jamar gets the goal, Melbourne lead by a point. At half time, Melbourne 7-11-53, Port Adelaide 8-4-52. Jones kicked his second goal of the game before 29-year-old Daniel Motlop knocked in a major in his final game for Port. Kicks it low and hard and kicks it through. Mackenzie had two career goals in his previous 37 matches and bagged a double in this, while Jacob Surgeon needed medical treatment. Well, that's a real gash. You can see that there. One of the best of Motlop's 20 touches to date laid it on for Stephen Salopek. Oh, Motlop cleverly done to Salopek. Oh, that's Motlop. And Salopek finishes it. Jack Schultz booted his 31st of the season to stay one behind Gray, while Jack Trengove trimmed the margin to two goals at the final change. There's one they need. Jeremy Howe used his least preferred leg to get the Demons driving, before Neville Jetta's goal couldn't separate the teams once again. 84 apiece. Melbourne smothered the power five times in five minutes and converted the turnover into Fitzpatrick's maiden AFL goal, before most of the 29,000 fans rejoiced with Boke's boundary beauty. Both the impossible angle, and he puts it through, and Port lead. Westhoff landed two goals in two minutes to give the Demons the slip inside the final nine minutes. Starts the season with four and finishes it with at least that many. Matthew Loby showed his strength to set up his first ever power goal, while the Demons conjured up one last charge. Green will fly from the side, and Green's taken the mark. They can win Melbourne. What a remarkable game. Not enough, and the Demons' South Australian drought continues. Full-time, Port Adelaide 17-10-112, Melbourne 15-14-104. Oh, mate, what about retirement after that? Oh, that's just unbelievable. This is, uh, oh, the future looks bright coming here, and, yeah, oh, what a game, what a game. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say, fantastic. Charles Christian, Big Pond Sport.